subdivision I'm in, and this is going to be layout update number one for the train layout underneath the Christmas tree. So this is the O gauge set we got for Cameron for Christmas. Uh, my wife went to the Christmas Village, so I started. Um, we went the other day, we picked up some more track to make our oval bigger. We picked up some rolling stock. I ordered two from Menards, and we got one at a local hobby shop. Um, here we heighten that has O scale, N scale, and HO scale. So let's take a look at what we got, and then we'll jump into what we have going on here. And um, with that being said, I want to thank everybody who has subscribed and watched this channel. We've gone over 400 uh, within the last week or since I posted the last video. So I just want to say a thank you to all that watch and uh, appreciate the content I put out. Um, that means a lot to me that uh, people get joy out of this. So with that being said, let's get into the uh, layout. Okay, before we look into uh, the changes for the layout here underneath the Christmas tree, let's take a look at some of the new rolling stock we picked up. The uh, original starter set we bought came with the covered hopper and the flat car. I had the uh, Atlas O-Gauge box car already. So we went ahead and added three more cars, and I ordered two from Menards. Uh, the first one's a Lehigh Valley covered hopper. It's got the built by Menards in 2020, the print, the white with the red Lehigh Valley flag. It's got the red hatches up top. Really nice car for 20 bucks. Um, I mean, the trucks are a little cheap on these, but it is what you get what you get. And uh, I'm happy with them. So one thing I did notice about the covered hopper, here's the Lionel one. And you can see that the plastic shell part of the car, exactly the same. The only difference is this has the uh, Lionel trucks on it. So moving on, we got another car from Menards, and that's a hopper car, Reading and Northern. This is a fantasy scheme for a hopper car. It's pretty close to what they have on their covered hopper cars. Um, this one says built in 2019 by Menards. Just a nice car. They were nice, cheap cars to, you know, add to our train so it wasn't so short. And then moving on, the last car is a RMT. So these are probably made at the same place as the uh, Menards cars because they're exactly the same. Trucks are the same on them. They got this, you know, pull thing here to undo it. They don't have the side latch like a Lionel. Um, it's got the snow load in this one, and this is the uh, North Pole and Snowflake. It's a snow loading only, so no coal in here, only snow. All right, so let's move on to the layout. Okay, so this the North Pole and Snowflake hopper car we got from a local hobby shop. Um, I found out I have a hobby shop in town. Um, they have a good selection for a smaller store. They have N scale. O and HO. They have more HO and O scale, I believe, than N. Um, but we got the cover or the the snowflake, the North Pole snowflake hopper there. And we, the main reason we had gone was to get more straights to make our oval bigger. So as you can see, this piece right here is a 30 inch straight. So we got two of those and put one on this side, one on that far side, and then our starter set came with four 10 inch straight so there's two on that side and then two over here so it's just an oval so what i started was i took the diaper genie box from our diaper genie for cameron and cut it in half and placed the one there and then placed the one back there and then i made that piece of cardboard there to block it off and then we fastened that top piece on and i put some supports in the back because we have two cats and they're going to be climbing on this. So it's strong enough that the cats won't damage it. And then I measured for our tree stand and got that exactly where we needed it to be. And then I made this divider here. So the only finished area is going to be from here over and then to that back wall. So the tree, the tree will be right there. And then this will be our winter wonderland. So that's where we're at so far, and then I'm going to move in closer and we'll take a look over there. So I decided to start working in this corner and work my way around the track all the way over to that side. 
Um, so the first thing I did was I cut this tunnel portal out of cardboard, painted it with a granite gray, dark granite gray. It's um, It was satin, so this came out shiny, but that's okay. And then I took a Sharpie and drew in the keystone and the, the blocks and the stone. And then for this side, I decided to make a wing wall. So I just took a piece of one inch foam, painted it gray, drew the lines on it, and then I cut it on an angle here so it goes up to the backdrop and I just painted that white in with snow. Then I took cardboard and just kept layering here to make a little corner that's, you know, up off. There's a little figurine, two of the trees. And then I took that piece of cardboard and started painting the backdrop. It still needs some trees and stuff, but it's just to, to get an idea of um, where we're going with this uh, Christmas village. So I think it, it's starting to look pretty good the little bit that I was able to get done over here. I'm happy with it. So moving along, uh, we got a couple of little features. We got this little scheme part that lights up and then my wife picked up this. This is like a, a snowman. This one doesn't want to work with the try me thing. And then I bought my wife this last year because we were going to do the Christmas village and then didn't. Um, but we do have this light up Christmas tree stand, store, whatever have you. And then she picked up a bunch of these uh, little figures in there. Like, they look really close to the O scale size. And she got all this stuff at the dollar the Dollar Tree. So that was nice. Uh, Pickups for this. Um, we do have a bunch of these trees she picked up. They were dollar at the Dollar Tree. You get two plastic trees with the snow on them. So she picked up a bunch of those. I have two up there. You know, they look pretty good once you start putting them in place with some other things. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna build a couple buildings out of cardboard for this. Um, we ordered the uh, Christmas vacation flat from Nick over at PGH Train Fanatic. Uh, my wife and I both really like that flat, so we ended up ordering that. So hopefully that'll be here soon, and we can. Uh, that'll be going on the back here. So that's just a little bit of where we're at, and uh, this is the first update, and there'll be more until it's complete. And uh, we'll finish up, uh, I'll run the train by this little scenic area so you can get a look.